I first got into martial arts because of my love of athletics. I love anything physical and I enjoyed the discipline. I want to know, are you ready to go? Yes, sir! I enjoyed the goal setting aspect. I enjoyed respect. Martial arts was in large part of what I wanted to do to in turn empower other people, which I have done for my whole adult life. I've been empowered my whole life by my family and by uh, police mentors and then my karate mentors. So I wanted to help people. I've been fortunate uh, throughout my life to have some really powerful role models that really helped shape the course of my life. And Randy Sevenish was, was one of those. Through his teaching and through martial arts, it was uh, just a very important time, molding of character and discipline and, and hard work. Sensei Sevenish definitely is someone that leads by example. Strong. He's intense, he's focused, and he's not gonna give up. If there's anybody that I would want in a dark alley or a courtroom, it would be Sensei Sevenish because I know he's a fighter and he's not gonna quit. Our students were just outstanding technicians. It was empowering to me to watch how people would grow in life. It's simply reflective of who I am, what kind of a fighter and warrior I am inside. And that translates over to law because of the intensity in the way that we choose to represent people. We are known for fiercely protecting the injured. If anyone was to ask me, who is Randy Sevenish? Let me tell you a story. 500 years before Christ was born, lived a man named Heraclitus. Heraclitus was a general and in the business of training warriors. And this is what he had to say about his business. For every 100 men they send me, 80 of them are nothing more than targets. 10 of them shouldn't be here in the first place. And of the 10 remaining, nine are real fighters. And we are lucky to have them, for they the battle make. Ah, but one is a warrior, and I must find him, for he will bring the others back, for he the battle wins. Who's in your corner?